Today, the topic I'm going to share is the early detection for Parkinson's patients. The time that I first noticed this disease is in 2016. At that time, our famous boxer, Ali Lutas, was his legendary life. And I noticed that during his 74 years, he spent more than half of his life fighting and battling with the disease, Parkinson's disease. So what kind of disease Parkinson is? Like it takes so long time for Ali even to fight it and lose. I searched about it and I found that Parkinson's disease has already been underestimated for a long time. It has already become the third killer only after the heart disease and the tumor. According to the experts, in, 20, in 2013, there's about like 5 million people with Parkinson's disease. And the bad news is that among all of them, the average time for them from their first episode to their final diagnosis is about like 5 and a half years. So this is a quite shocking data. Like, why does it take so long for the people to go to the hospital and check do they have, like, whether they have a Parkinson's disease? And here's the reason. First of all, Parkinson's traditional methods require the doctors and also the machines like CT. And as a result, a lot of people don't have this kind of opportunity to receive this kind of de detection and examination. Also, the traditional detection and examination is quite time consuming and money consuming. And here is our solution theory. At that time, I asked my teacher, Hunan, because she actually investigated and do, did her research in this area for a long time. She did her PhD in this area. And I asked her, like, can we do something for this Parkinson's patient? Like, you know, everyone can be old, every, everyone can be a potential Parkinson's patient, so how can we do it for them? Maybe even just a little bit, it could be nice. This is quite convenient, comfortable, and actually pretty professional. Why does I do this? Because we have our cloud server and our application. The patient can check their class, check their data in the cloud server and application at any time in their life. They can check it on their front, and we can also send this data to the relevant hospital. As a result, the hospital can help us together to shine and to find out uh, the potential Parkinson patient. Here is a very funny thing about our development of our product. At first, we didn't expect our product to give a good result. So we only take it from this 3D, 3D machine in our school. We did it ourselves. We paint it with color that we get from our art teacher. And but you know like fortunately we get a pretty good result. The result is almost at the same level of the clinical correlation. We were, you know, pretty surprised and fascinated about this data. And then we made our second prototype. This time we had a pretty, like, pretty outlook and we made it a bigger screen, LED screen. We, take, we took it to the um, Peking University Shinde Hospital. And the Lin doctor, Dr. Lin at that time, he gave us some advice from the perspective of doctor, which is pretty useful. And with that useful advice, we made our third prototype. This time, we put more humanistic design, like the um, sound speaker, voice speakers, and also like the LED um, LED lights. They can tell the patient like whether you need to check in a very direct way by turning on left right or turning on green light. We have already had our um, third prototype developed and also we applied three different patients. One of the patients is already in the pending stage and also we invited more than 100 volunteers to test our um, little product, to test our little instruments. We are actually applying hospital clinical trial with our um, Peking University in the hospital with his support. Um, on the current stage, we actually hope that our product, our design, our little invention could be developing even a little bit faster so that we can do a little bit more for these old people or middle-aged people. Because everyone can be old, everyone can be middle-aged, and if we can even stop it in a little bit progress, this could be a large progress in all the human humanity. And that is pretty much why we start this program why we started this process. We believe that as long as we do our little bit things, maybe the role will be changed a little bit different. So thank you.